So now in this video, I thought we'd go over the uh, end channel enhancement mode MOSFET really quick. So to begin with, there's also the P channel enhancement mode MOSFET. And uh, for both of those, there's also the depletion mode uh, MOSFET. But all I come across ever is the enhancement mode MOSFETs. Um, so we're using the end channel here though. We'll come to that later. The component I'm using is the 2N7000. Uh, so it comes in the TO92 package right there. Um, Flat side is to the right, so TO92 is a common um, shape for a transistor in plastic when uh, you have it like breadboard size. And uh, I think they're like about 600 uh, milliwatts, 0 0.6 watt uh, wattage. They tend to come in this size. Um, not always, but uh, pretty commonly, this shape. So 2N7000 left pin is source, middle pin is gate, and right pin is drain. I always check the data sheet though to uh, verify. Um, so we got it uh, to the right there. So drain is where the load connects for this. And then gate, we got this jumper going to ground. So that's simulating a switch that uh, goes to a positive supply or a negative. We have five volts there. Our load is a 220 ohm uh, resistor and an LED. So the 220 ohms will protect the LED from five volts when the transistor on. Transistor is off right now though, because we have the uh, jumper there going to the negative supply holding it off and then source also goes to ground there so since it's in channel and it is enhancement that means um well first i can take it off it can pick up stray signals from the air so it may be a good idea to still put a resistor at that gate um, to prevent uh, if there's a relatively high voltage that kind of comes along um, usually uh, like a resistor can go from gate to ground or something, pull down resistor. Um, but in case, we're gonna go to the positive supply right there. And now you can see the LED is on um, as good as the transistor will allow. And the resistor and uh, diode, this mostly will be setting the current uh, pretty much completely. So now it is on. The reason why it is on is because now the gate is uh, more positive. So a gate's kind of like a capacitor. So it builds up a more positive charge on one side, a more negative charge on the other side. So electrons um, get pulled in to the channel. And uh, so ultimately becomes a little more negatively charged. Um, but since it's end channel enhancement, that means that uh, those electrons enhance the conduction. It conducts better. Now, if we uh, jump to the uh, negative, then uh, we have the ground fills, or the uh, gate, I mean, not ground there. Uh, gate fills up with electrons. Other side, it pushes out electrons. And uh, so less electrons means that it uh, stops conducting if you cut it uh, down enough. Now, this is the uh, symbol that uh, I like to use. I got it from the book, The Art of Electronics, which is uh, one of the best electronic books out there. Um, so if you don't like the symbol, argue with them but because uh, a lot of people don't and uh, they think the arrow should be up there or something I can't remember but uh, any case this is uh, what they use I checked a number of times to make sure I, I didn't goof that I use one that they actually show and they show a whole bunch of different variations this is not uh, a universal symbol there's all kinds of different symbols you could use a lot of them look more complex and stuff for other circuitry that depends on other properties that they have I think especially if they're in a different uh, uh, package but uh, in any case this is just the basic uh, switch circuit with the 2N7000 that's uh, pretty much all I really see uh, MOSFETs in is uh, switch circuits rarely see them in uh, something else and um, so you know once you get familiar with using them as a switch you pretty much got uh, most of your uses down there for them 